we begin tonight with a quote. Crisis of patient care is the phrase. It's in the urology department at Dunedin Hospital. That description came from Dr Stephen Mark, the head of the Urological Society of New Zealand, who last night listened to Checkpoint's coverage on what was happening at the hospital and today called the DHB to offer his help. As revealed last night on this program, frustration with the long waiting times for treat treatment saw the DHB commission an independent review into its own urology department. This follows our stories last week identifying a shortage of ICU beds for post-operative care as being responsible for delays and cancellations to operations, including for patients with heart conditions. Now at the time the hospital CEO told us there weren't enough ICU beds but said the number is being increased. Last night he told us a review of urology will help the DHB get that department working more effectively. But surgeons and external medical experts say it's not before time. So too do the patients themselves like this Dunedin man. Urinary tract completely uh, cut off. This is Dave McLean. In 2015, he was suddenly hit by the most incredible pain. And what was the cause of that? Did you have an enlarged prostate? Uh, uh, enlarged prostate, yeah. So the, so the prostate was so enlarged that it was actually blocking your urinary tract? Uh, yeah, blocked the, um, I, I got a major, uh, a major prostate infection on top of the, um, the enlargement that was there. And uh, uh, the co uh, combined effect um, it caused the urinary tract to cut off completely. The pain, he says, was in a different league from anything he'd ever experienced before by a considerable margin. And it was uh, extreme burning. Yeah, it was uh, 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 as if the penis was immersed in boiling water. A catheter was inserted, then taken out. The pain returned. The catheter was reinserted. And this time it stayed in until Dave had surgery, thanks to his employer having staff health insurance. And the price of the surgery without Southern Cross cover is around about $10,000. Wait a sec, the price of the surgery, why didn't you have this in the public system? Yeah, we would have to ask the public system. It, um, it, uh, it would seem, um, uh, when I asked the GP, um, uh, if it was uh, normal to go uh, so long with a, with a catheter before deciding, he said that, uh, well, uh, uh, in, in his opinion, it would, uh, it would not be normal. But that uh, was just the way the public hospital system was. How, sorry, how long did you have a catheter in for? Uh, five months. Five months. And when the surgery was finally done in a private hospital, Mercy, who was the surgeon? KP Somalia. Who was also a urologist at Dunedin Hospital. Are people waiting too long? Yes, I, I think so. Some people are waiting too long, yes. This is Dr Kamta Somalia, one of three urologists at Dunedin Hospital, but between them, they only work two FTEs, full-time equivalent jobs. So if all of us, all three of us at Dunedin Hospital were full-time, us working full-time, we probably will just make it. But in fact, three of you are doing two full-time equivalent jobs. Exactly, absolutely. Which yes. means you are not getting enough hours to keep up with demand. Absolutely, I agree with you, yeah. Checkpoint has been repeatedly told, both on the record and off it, that there simply aren't enough surgery hours available in the urology department at Dunedin Hospital. And what does that mean in terms of delays to treatment? Uh, obviously, when uh, the work, in other words, the work coming in and the number of people going on the waiting list are far much more than what we can uh, service with two FTE. Two full-time equivalents? Yes. Dunedin Hospital has two, Nelson Hospital and Palmerston North Hospital have four. Everyone we've spoken to has told us two is nowhere near enough. And we just are not getting the resources we need. We do not have the full-time equivalents we need. That's Dr Alistair Hepburn, another of the specialist urologists at Dunedin Hospital. Are you saying as a result of only having two full-time equivalent staff, people with cancer are having to wait longer for treatment than is appropriate? Uh, the present time, that is one of the major problems, yes. It's not the only problem, but it is one of the major problems. People with prostate cancer? Correct, yes. Other forms of cancer? Definitely, yes. Last night on Checkpoint, the Southern DHB CEO, Chris Fleming, told us a review was being conducted into the urology department at Dunedin Hospital. But what we didn't know then was whose idea it was. I asked Dr Alistair Hepburn. 
Who suggested that review? Uh, it was a suggestion from uh, myself and my colleague. In short, the surgeons themselves were so frustrated by their situation, they asked for the review. So that was something that um, we demanded, we asked for, um, and pleasingly it has happened, but not with a lot of, without a lot of pressure. The review's due back within the next week or two. The urologists are grateful the DHB agreed to it, but what they really want is some more staff. This is a difficult question for you to answer, and sure. you are in a master-servant relationship with the Southern DHB, even though you are a senior urologist. But do yeah. you feel like there are real financial pressures driving what appear on the face of it to be insufficient staff numbers? Uh, I can say that's, that's the feeling I get, yes. Last night, Stephen Mark listened to our interviews from Checkpoint. He's a urologist and chairman of the Urological Society. So concerned was he by what he heard on our programme, he phoned the CEO of the DHB. And I've certainly spoken to Chris Fleming today and I've agreed to be directly involved with trying to improve that uh, care by being involved in the implementation of any change. So change appears to be coming. But it's taken a long time. And in the meantime, Stephen Mark, what do you think it's like now in the urology department at Dunedin Hospital? Uh, look, I think there is a, uh, a, a, a crisis of patient care because they've got concerns about the inability to deliver the care in the time frames that they wish to do so. A crisis of patient care. That's the chairman of the Urological Society of New Zealand talking about a public hospital. The DHB denies this, but outside the most senior levels of hospital management, every single person we've spoken to, including the urologists themselves, says it's principally a question of resourcing. You can't do surgery without surgeons, and in full-time equivalent terms, Dunedin Hospital has two. And that's really quite inadequate. Stephen Mark, or as Dr Alistair Hepburn put it. Yes, if we got more funding our service would be in a much better situation. And people wouldn't have to wait as long? Absolutely. That's one of the urologists at Dunedin Hospital.